Problem 4. An auditor for a government agency is assigned the task of evaluating reimbursement for office visits to physicians paid by Medicare. The audit was conducted on a sample of 75 of the reimbursements, with the following results, in 12 of the office visits, there was an incorrect amount of reimbursement. The amount of reimbursement average, X bar equals $93.70 and the standard deviation, S equals $34.55. Question A. At the 0.05 level of significance, is there evidence that the population mean reimbursement was less than $100? Be sure to state your hypotheses. Okay, let's uh, let's open up a spreadsheet here. I'm just going to delete this so I don't get mixed up. And um, let's let's state a new hypothesis here. And um, it is that the the mean uh, for the mean uh, uh, value of the reimbursements is greater than or equal greater than or equal to one hundred dollars. If we look back at the problem, we see that. Uh, is there evidence that the population uh, mean was less than one hundred dollars? And so, our so we're going to state our null hypothesis as no, the population mean is greater than or equal greater than or equal to one hundred dollars. So, the alternative hypothesis then is that the mean is less than less than one hundred dollars. And so, so uh, we're going to do this analysis and uh, see if we can reject the null hypothesis, in which case the alternative hypothesis would be true, and that's that's what we're after. So uh, to do this, let's uh, open up PHSTAT and go to one sample tests, um, t test for the population. T one sample test t tests oh for the mean there. And uh, this thing pops up, and our null hypothesis is um, 100, and the level of significance is 0 0.05. And we can um, we know our statistics. Uh, it is um, 93.70 and 34.55. Uh, 93.70 and the standard deviation was um, 34.55 so 34.55 and the sample size was 75 And so, and um, we're going to do a lower tail test because we're interested in the lower end only. Click OK. And this is what comes up. And we see that um, the p value is 0 0.05, which is not less than uh, 0 0.0593, which is not less than 0 0.05. So we do not reject the null hypothesis. Uh, let's see, what's the next question? Question B. At the 0 0.05 level of significance, is there evidence that the proportion of incorrect reimbursements in the population was greater than 0 0.10? Be sure to state your hypotheses. Okay, um, for this Question. Let's go back here and, and just put that right here. The uh, pi is a proportion of incorrect reimbursements. So our null hypothesis is that pi is less than or equal to 10%. So our alternate, alternative hypothesis would be that pi is greater than 10%. 
And so we want to find evidence um, to reject the null, in which case the alternative would be, uh, we would have evidence that the alternative is true. So let's do um, add-ins pH stat, and we're doing uh, one sample tests Z test for the proportion, and the null hypothesis is 10 percent, 0.1. The level of significance is 0 0.05. The number of items of interest is. 12 out of 75. 12 out of 75. And in this case, we're looking at the upper tail. Upper tail here. So let's click OK, and this pops up. And we see that <coughs> we have a p value of 0 0.04, which is less than 0 0.05. And so we do, in fact, reject the null hypothesis. We do have evidence that the, pop, the proportion of incorrect re reimbursements is greater than, than 10%. So it looks like we've got uh, some work to do there. Question D. What is your answer to question A if the sample mean equals $90? Okay, we can just uh, go back to our question A. A spreadsheet our results here and fortunately uh, we, we know that pH stat does formulas for everything so we can just change our um, sample mean from 93.7 so you're going to change it from 93.7 to 90 and so let's look at that let's change this to 90 and when that happens, we see that the p-value goes down to 0 0.0072, which is much less than 0 0.05, and we would, in fact, uh, reject the null hypothesis. So if that were, in fact, the standard mean, um, uh, if it's the, the mean is, is 93.7, in the original problem, we did not have evidence to reject. Uh, but for if we do, if that ends up being 90, if the mean ends up being 90, then we do um, we do have evidence to to reject the null. And for question uh, for question E here, question E, what is your answer to question B if 15 office visits had incorrect reimbursements? Okay, we're, we have already rejected the null for question B uh, with 12 office visits with the incorrect amount. If we actually go to uh, you know we just barely, I don't know, we're, we're pretty close, we're, we were, uh, uh, 0 0.04 is definitely less than 0 0.05. If we increase this, this to 15, though, uh, then the p-value goes down quite a bit, and um, uh, 0 0.001 is quite a bit less than 0 0.05, and so we, uh, the rejection would be stronger. We would be even, we would be much more confident that, um, that there's a difference. So that takes care of problem four.